fellow YouTubers, and welcome to my channel. It has finally happened. After nearly two years of ownership, my Valve Index has died. The king is dead. Long live the king. Let's get straight into it then. And remember, we're born to respawn. I placed the order for my Valve Index on the day it became available to pre-order and was very lucky to receive my unit very quickly after launch date, which in the UK was the 28th of June 2019. It has been an amazing piece of kit, a great screen, wide field of view, that experimental 140Hz refresh rate, industry leading audio solution and very comfortable to boot. I have put hundreds of hours into playing Onward, Project Cars 2, Half-Life Alex, and have enjoyed every minute of owning this premium piece of kit but it does have one weak point, as you will see. I use this handy Kiwi Design version 2 pulley system, which works really well and does give you that wireless feeling for your cable headset, but being suspended means the cable is prone to twisting and snagging, especially when playing dynamic games like Onward, Pavlov or Population 1. The first clue that things weren't right is when I started to get artifacts on screen, small pinpoints of light dancing about in my display. Unfortunately, I couldn't capture this using OBS, but have tried to simulate the effect here. Then, after years of twisting, turning and getting tangled, the cable finally failed. If you study this close up, you can clearly see where the wires inside the sleeve have been dislodged, and this in turn has led to one of the wires failing. Gutted doesn't cover how I felt, my very expensive headset reduced to an ornament on my shelf. So what could I do? I've had the headset for 23 months, surely it wasn't still in warranty. I reached out to Steam support and I shall read the full correspondence to you right now. Me. The display in my Valve Index is showing artifacts, small drifting pins of light which are very noticeable in darker environments. I believe this is caused by the cable becoming twisted during everyday use as this is the exact same problem that happened to my Oculus Rift CV1. I have included a picture of the cable showing the damage. End of quote. This is the reply from Steam support. Hi there. Thank you for bringing this to our attention. It looks like we may be needing to process a replacement for your headset cable to resolve this. Please provide the following information. Now that's what I call service. I have heard reports that Steam customer support can be a bit patchy, but in my experience with the replacement cable and when my right controller thumbstick started to drift, they've been absolutely superb. Thumbstick drift video here. So the king is dead. Long live the new king. Installation of the new cable is a doddle. Remove the facial interface, unplug the cable, then this little mount pops up, and lastly, gently pry the black plastic clip off, and voila, the cable is free, so just reverse what you did to install the new one. See, it's a doddle. With the new cable installed, I finally realized that the Valve Index hadn't been running right for a while now. Along with artifacts, I would randomly get a gray screen appear during play. I thought that maybe the base station 2.0s had lost tracking or something, but it turns out it was the cable after all. So my Valve Index now feels like a brand new unit, apart from the faintly whiffy insert. Oh. And is ready for another two years of perfectly tracked virtual reality mayhem. Or maybe a midlife refresh with the much rumoured wireless valve index upgrade. My fellow VR content creator Thrillseeker has done an excellent video on this subject where he speculates on all the patents filed by Valve and the various rumours circulating about this Halo product. Once we're done here, go check out his video which I've linked in the description below. Has your valve index had the dreaded artifacts of doom? Has your experience with Steam support been as positive as mine? What do you think about the rumoured 
wireless valve index upgrade. You know the drill, get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, please hit that like button. The algorithm loves the likes and maybe do all the other stuff popping up around me now. You can also support the channel on Patreon or by going to my shop on tshirtstudio.com and purchasing some of my stylish merchandise. I have started streaming as well, so keep an eye on the community page of my YouTube channel for times and dates. Last but not least, my stream buddy Surgical Gaming from Twitch TV has started his own YouTube channel. Yay! So go check out the link in the description. Drop him a like and subscribe to help get him started. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's obviously why they did it. No, 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 get up. <laughs>